Hi there guys, I hope this video finds you well. So you probably landed yourself here because you purchased the Teach Steamies Watch It Grow Steam Unit and you have delved into it and see that there is an art integration piece for technology integration as well called Collage Like Carl. So I'm gonna show you how to do that on PicEDU. So here is my iPad screen. I have downloaded the PicEDU app. Um, if I'm click on it right there. It's going to pull it up. Now, Pick Collage EDU is available for iPad. There are tons of other collage apps that you could use to do this. So it's not the only choice that you have, but I'm just going to show you the way I do it with my students. So at the landing page here, the home screen, you have three options. Here in the middle, freestyle is what I like to use with my students because it gives them the most creativity. So we're actually gonna doodle. And then like Eric Carl does in his illustrations in his books, you're gonna pick other images to integrate into one image to make a new image. So at the bottom, you'll notice that you have some options. I'm gonna click the doodle option. You've got a slider for size here. Um, it doesn't really matter. Your students can choose whatever they'd like. So I'm gonna draw a simple image here of a flower. I'm just using my finger. I'm gonna draw some leaves here. And I'm gonna change the color and just continue on drawing my flower. Your students can draw whatever they like. That's the fun part of this. And then I'm gonna click my check mark. So now I have an image of a flower. So to be able to implement or integrate the collage images, you're gonna go down to the bottom again and you're gonna see this web image option pop up. Now you can select or search many different things. Like you can search abstract uh, art images and it's gonna kind of pull up all sorts of images that might be cool to integrate there. You could even search Eric Carl illustrations as well, and it will populate many of the illustrations from his book. And if you'd like your students to just make a collage with those, they can. But I love the results that I get when I search watercolor, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna search watercolor, and it's gonna pull up many different watercolor images. And I can just select the ones I like it's keeping track of the ones I select, and you can see the little number, uh, aqua number with the check mark next to it. At the top there, it's kind of keeping track of what I select there. Okay, so I've got seven selected. I'm gonna hit check mark. Now it's gonna take me back to my main doodle, and you can see all the images here. So I'm just moving them out of the way with my finger, just so I can spread them out and see what I got to work with. <clears throat> okay, so let me show you how to fill in the collage. So each of these images work on their own. So if I wanted to put this fun one right there in the middle, inside my flower center, I'm gonna click on it. So when I click on it, I get this little pencil tool and another pop-up box and all of these options that I can do with this particular image itself. I like to use the cut out or the little scissors here. Now it will cut out the shapes that you like. So if I want a circle, I can hit a circle and it was gonna give me this, this perfect circle. Um, but obviously we are doing doodling and collaging and nothing is really perfect in that world. So I'm gonna click on scissors because this more mimics what my hand motions are and how I would actually draw a circle. So I just draw it with my hand and hit the check mark. And now you can see it pulled in the image here. So I can click this arrow, this right and left arrow and move it around, you can spin it. Oops, not that one. Um, you can spin the image by holding and clicking it and changing the size. And then one of the really cool features is inside the edit tool again, it's send it to the back. So this aqua color that says back, if you click on that, it will send the image and put it behind your doodle image. So it makes it look a little more clean and takes some of those hard edges off of it. So now I'm going to work in filling the petal. So I like this purple one here, so I'm gonna move it here. I'm going to click on it, edit it, and then I'm gonna cut out a shape of a petal. I think that would work best for me. Click check mark. Sometimes you have to find it once you've cut it or done something to it. It might be hidden between your other images. So I'm gonna manipulate this to fit inside my petal. Now I could send it to the back right now, but instead of doing that, I want all my petals to be the same color. I really like this, so I want them all to look the same. Now your students may choose to do something else, like one petal for each, each collage could be um, going to a different petal, or each petal can 
uh, be a new collage. But I'm just gonna duplicate. So this green box here, or green button there, will duplicate it. And on then it, it created that exact same thing again. I can spin it around and manipulate it to fit. It can be a little tricky for larger hands. Your students are not gonna have a problem with this, but adults um, have to use their fingers to pinch and pull. All right, so I'm gonna keep duplicating it until I have all the flower petal leaves that I need. should be it. So then I'm going to go back and click on each of them and send them to the back. Now that I've got them done, I'm going to send them all to the back. Awesome. So I like the way that looks. I want to show you that you can click on your flower and move it around mm. and kind of see what's underneath there. So in real life, I would continue on and fill in the leaves, maybe with this green here and do something different. Uh, we're going to stop there. I'm going to show you how to remove the images that you've chosen not to use. So you just click on them and one of the options is remove. So it's that simple. Uh, your students can choose to go back in and find more images if they'd like or change things up. I'm just removing them all. Now, one thing that I really love to do with my students is have them sign their artwork, right? So I'm going to hit the doodle button again, and I'm going to just sign my name. And the reason why I like to do this is because then I can print this out, and this is a perfect display for um, open house or parents coming in or just displaying in the hallway. These make beautiful displays. So let's click Done. And then you can save this to your photo library. And from there, that's where you would print or you can even share on your social media pages with your, your parents. Uh, this is just a really great option. So what a great tool for integrating technology into your art and then also learning about how Eric Carle creates his collages and his illustrations inside of all of his wonderful books. So I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial here and I hope you enjoyed doing this with your students. Thank you so much. Have fun.